assalamu alaikum students uh, in this lecture we will study about the application of slope formula uh, we have already learned the slope formula in previous lecture i'll just uh, write that formula in this lecture and we will go on we have the slope formula denoted by m and this is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and this is actually for two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 and uh, as far as uh, the application of the slope formula is concerned uh, we can uh, use uh, that in different problems and uh, some of them we will discuss over here first of uh, them is uh, first we will just learn how to find inclination and slope of two points suppose we have uh, two points 1 comma minus 1 and 5 comma 3 and we want to calculate their inclination as well as their slope first the slope will be m equals to y2 this is x1 this is y1 and this is x2 and this is y2 and that will be 3 minus minus 1 and will be 5 minus 1 and m will be equals to that will be negative into negative will be positive so 3 plus 1 divided by 4 so m will be 4 by 4 that will be 1 so our slope is 1 now as we all know that tangent of alpha this is equals to slope and this alpha is actually our inclination so alpha will be equal to tangent inverse of m so just put the value of m in it and we will get the value of alpha so alpha will be equal to tangent inverse of 1 and I think that will be 45 degree so this is how we calculate the slope and inclination between uh, two points now we will further use uh, this concept uh, in different problems suppose uh, we uh, want to find that uh, the line passing through this point these points and these points we will see that the line passing through these two points and these two points whether it is perpendicular, parallel or none we will just check that and we all know that the condition of parallelism will be equals to m1 equals to m2 and the condition of perpendicularism will be m1 equals to minus 1 over m2 and this is also written as m1 m2 equals to minus 1 here we just take uh, we, we say that if the slope of one line is equals to the negative reciprocal of the other line then the lines will be perpendicular we will just calculate slope of this line these two points and slope of these two points using the uh, formula which we have already learned so m will be m1 will be y2 minus y1 so that will be 12 minus 15 divided by x2 minus x1 then so that would be minus 7 minus 9 so m1 will be minus 3 over minus 16 that would be 3 by 16 now to calculate the slope between these two points we will use the formula again so m2 will be y2 minus y1 that would be 5 minus 8 over x2 minus x1 that would be minus 2 negative negative 4 so m2 will be 5 minus 8 that would be minus 3 and this will be minus 20 plus 4 and m2 will be minus 3 by 16 
and again that will be 3 by 16. So if you see the answer of M1 and M2 is the same so we can write M1 equals to M2 so therefore line joining these two points is parallel to the line joining these two points. So this is how we check uh, whether these two lines are parallel or not. If these slopes are equal it will satisfy this condition and the lines will be parallel and if it satisfies this condition uh, or we can say that if the slope of one line is equal to the slope of ne negative reciprocal of the second line then the line will be lines will be per uh, perpendicular and if uh, there is none of these condition then we cannot say that whether they are perpendicular or uh, uh, we will say that they are neither perpendicular nor parallel Okay, let us consider another example. Suppose we have uh, minus 4, 8, uh, 2 minus 3. Five minus four, and these are the two points on the same line. The other points are five minus four and seven two. Okay. If we calculate uh, again m one by using the same procedure, that would be minus four minus minus that would be plus three over that will be five minus two. So m one will be minus one by three. This is our. Uh, this is the slope of the line joining these two points. And now here M2 will be 2 plus 4 divided by 7 minus 5. So M2 will be 6 divided by 2, and M2 will be 3. So if just we now check M1, M2 will be equals to minus 1 by 3 into 3, and that will be equals to minus 1. So we can say that the line joining these two points and the line joining these two points are perpendicular to each other. Or in other, word, in other words, 3 is negative reciprocal of 1 by 3. Or you can say minus 1 by 3, negative 1 by 3 is negative reciprocal of 3. So when the slopes are negative reciprocal of each other, then the lines will be perpendicular. Now, uh, we can use these conditions to find out uh, different uh, other problems. Suppose uh, there are two lines. One of them passes through 4, 3 and minus 2, 5. And the other uh, passes through 6k and minus 3, 7. Now, we need to find the value of k when these two lines are first parallel, second when they are perpendicular. So, we will just use the condition of per parallelism or per perpendicularism uh, on the slopes and we will get the value of k. So, first calculate m1. m1 will be equals to there will be 5 minus 3, that will be 2. And here this will be negative 2, negative 4, that will be minus 6. So this is equals to actually M1 is equals to minus 1 by 3. And if we calculate M2, M2 will be 7 minus K divided by minus 3 minus 6. So M2 will be equals to 7 minus K divided by minus 9. So these are the two slopes of uh, these two lines. So first we will use the condition of parallelism. So for part 1, we will use m1 equals to m2. So putting the value in this, we will get minus 1 by 3 is equals to 7 minus k divided by minus 9. So now this can be solved easily for k. This minus 9 is being divided over there. 
it will come over here and it will be multiplied minus 1 by 3 into minus 9 will be equal to 7 minus k and 3 will be cancelled with this so the answer will be I will write over here so that it can be focused by the camera this will be negative into negative positive 3 is equal to 7 minus k and it would be negative k will equal to 3 minus 7 so this is minus 4 equals to minus k so k is 4 so when the lines are parallel the value of k is 4 now we move towards part 2 if we see the part 2 may the condition is given that the lines are perpendicular when the lines are perpendicular then we have the condition that the slope will be each other's negative reciprocal so we can say that this 7 minus k by 9 minus 9 equals to negative reciprocal of this so just take the negative reciprocal of m1 so that will be 3 so we can just now solve that and it will be 7 minus k equals to negative 27 minus k will be equals to negative 34 so k will be equals to 34 so these are the values of k when the lines are parallel or when the lines are perpendicular okay uh, it's enough for this lecture we will solve further problems in next lecture inshallah okay